Hello and welcome here. Wonder Woman is undoubtedly one of the big three Justice League members, and she has demonstrated a wide range of powers in the DCEU. Although her film adaptations have barely touched the surface of her vast comic book superpowers. Over the course of her long and illustrious history, Wonder Woman has acquired a number of unusual powers. Of the core Justice League founders, her ancestry has altered the most throughout the course of the several variations of the DC Comics main timeline. Her powers are remarkably diverse as a result. The directors of Wonder Woman's appearances in the DCEU have demonstrated the character's surprisingly broad range of powers. Making appearances in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, Shazam, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and Justice League of 2017, Diana Prince sets herself apart from Superman in a wonderful way from both Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman 1984 as well as Fury of the Gods by possessing more powers than simply super strength and flying. However, not all of the capabilities she has displayed in the comics have been translated to the big screen, and as the DCEU comes to an end, it is more important than ever to look back at her larger collection of powers to see what could be in store for James Gunn's upcoming Wonder Woman film. Here are some of her powers. Number 1. Talking to Animals. Diana's initial origins are miraculous in Wonder Woman's mainline DC Comics origin tale, which takes place after the crisis on Infinite Earth's plot. Wonder Woman is a clay sculpture who is bestowed with several magical abilities at birth by various Greek mythological deities. These endowments come directly from the gods themselves. Among them was Artemis, the huntress goddess who bestowed upon Wonder Woman the eye of the hunter and harmony with all animals. This resulted in Wonder Woman being able to communicate with animals. Wonder Woman never used her power, but when she did, it was quite startling since she frequently shocked her fellow countrymen by showing a kinship with wild animals. This power was probably eliminated from the DCEU because it may have overlapped with Aquaman's underwater communication skill, a hazy region of overlap that might have confused Diana's fellow Justice League member. Number 2. Invulnerability to Fire Hestia, the goddess of the home and hearth, was another deity to bestow blessings upon Wonder Woman during her creation. The Lasso of Truth, which is frequently utilized in the DCEU, is how Hestia channels her power. However, Hestia's gift also included complete immunity to fire and flame, which was a more protective component. Diana is not only safe from injury from regular fires, but also from magical flames, since the divine protection has shielded her from Ares' supernatural fires. Despite being able to produce heat powerful enough to melt magical metal objects like Godkiller, Wonder Woman's blade, Ares doesn't really deploy enormous plumes of flame as an assault in the DCEU. That may be sufficient justification for Wonder Woman's lack of use of this power in the DCEU, rendering her somewhat more mortal in the world of the movie series. Number 3. Forcing the Change of Heart. One of Wonder Woman's most well-known powers is the Lasso of Truth, which allows her to question any man, or depending on the version, just any person without worrying about being duped. Similar to Wonder Woman, the Lasso has possessed several lesser-known powers, like as the capacity to induce cardiac alterations. This implies that vanquished adversaries can be compelled to alter their ways after being entangled in the magical rope, preventing bad deeds by villains for an extended period of time. This power is obviously a strange option for a contemporary film series to employ, beyond the fact that it isn't particularly cinematic. Any villain's story that ends with them being forced to alter their heart by magic is not a satisfying one, especially considering the formidable cast Wonder Woman has fought in the DCEU, including Doomsday and Ares. Furthermore, the moral dilemmas surrounding the use of force to change someone's conduct may even make the power contentious to include, decreasing the likelihood that it will be used in any upcoming DC-related movies. Number 4. Destructive Magic Wonder Woman is not commonly considered a spellcaster because she was born a warrior. Wonder Woman is still heavily involved in the magical aspects of the comic's history, despite her not being as well known for her magical abilities in the DC Universe as other supernatural savants like Constantine or Zatanna. She has already shown that she is capable of performing spells, even strong waves of devastating magic. Wonder Woman has an amazing amount of raw magical power, even if she isn't the most skilled magic practitioner. She even has the ability to harm the Upside Down Man, one of DC's greatest villains and a scary magical being. However, in terms of the movies, restricting Wonder Woman's capacity to perform spells allows more leeway for future magic practitioners to be included into DC's films without having too much overlap. Number 5. Super Breath. 
Wonder Woman has displayed her own super breath in comic books, which is comparable to Superman's own version of this power. The ability for Wonder Woman to create directed gale force winds whenever she wants it is really helpful, even if it doesn't appear to have the same freezing effect as Superman's. Wonder Woman's super breath is more of an extension of her superhuman Amazon physiology than a magical powers, it allows her to channel her enormous strength into her lungs, producing very strong gusts of air whenever she needs them. Even if this power is nice on a static website, in real action it probably seems a little more ridiculous. Furthermore, it's a power that doesn't appear all that frequently in comics from the current age, so it's possible that DCEU authors were unaware of its existence. Though it's doubtful Wonder Woman will have the chance since Superman's version of the power is more legendary, the power may be included if Gunn's new DCU has a lighter enough tone. Number 6. Magical Tiara. In addition to her natural range of abilities, Wonder Woman is exceptional in the way she uses enchanted artifacts. Wonder Woman is an incredibly strong woman who makes use of the best of both worlds rather than depending just on technology, like Batman, or her own innate powers, like Superman. Her impenetrable bracers, the lasso of truth, her sword and shield, and the invisible jet are the most well-known of her accessories. However, one mystical piece of gear, her magical tiara isn't given much attention in the DCEU. Wonder Woman's tiara in the comics is more than simply a fashion accessory, it has several functions across time. The most well-known application of the tiara is as a throwing weapon akin to a boomerang, made popular by Linda Carter's Wonder Woman character in the 1970s television series of the same name. The lost chance in the DCEU's Wonder Woman 1984, Diana is also able to telepathically operate the invisible jet in the comics thanks to the tiara. Hopefully, Wonder Woman's famous helmet will be used more often in upcoming movies. Number 7. Inhibitive Bracelets. Wonder Woman's magical bracers are one item from her suit that has seen a lot of action in the DCEU. Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, who is immune to almost all types of attacks, regularly uses the strong armbands to deflect bullets and produce enchanted shockwaves of pure energy. Nonetheless, a lesser-known feature of the bracers that was not carried over from the comic books is that they serve as a power constraint for Diana. Wonder Woman's magical bracers have been depicted in the comics to be more than simply a helpful tool in battle, they really serve to limit her full strength. When she lets them free, Wonder Woman gets an enormous strength boost at the expense of her composure and loses control, going crazy in combat. A movie based on this idea would include a great sequence when Diana lets go of her inhibitions and unleashes her righteous rage on a villain who deserved no compassion. Wonder Woman's little-known power is a must-have for her future movie franchise incarnation. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.